Tonight, we're gonna do some tracking to tape. I'm the good old Fostex R8. We've done some testing, it sounds pretty cool. Let's, let's just do a pass. I literally had no idea how I was gonna get out of that. I, I thought I had an idea in my head and I couldn't remember it. So the kit, the big old Ludwig Classic Maples. And we went big this time. 26 inch kick, 13, 16, and the eight by 14 Classic Maple snare. And as you can see, there's moon gel everywhere. When I got this in, 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 in one take. It's way too, way too, uh, um, I mean, not one take, like right away. It's gonna take a, a little bit. Because it's uh, it's pretty well. You're pretty close. Busy. Well, let's busy. Uh, we can always do a punch. Yeah, <laughs> we haven't tried that yet. exactly. So we'll try it on a live stream in front of everybody. <laughs> we don't even know how to use it all. Pretty cool. This is pretty cool. What's happening, everybody? Yo, yo, yo. Welcome Hello. back. Hello. Guess who's back? <laughs> back again. <laughs> yes, here we are. Can't call to come back. Another installment. Yes. How's everybody doing today? We got a little different setup because we're going to do a couple cool things that we'll get to in just a second. But I, I'm in charge of 
Oh, yeah. He gets the day off. He gets to have the fun <laughs> part today. <laughs> so if you see me back here sweating, you know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. It was an interesting setup, yes. Yes, it's uh, still in flux a little bit as we're adding and trying some new things. And what better way to try things out than in front of everybody? Yes. Um, what, how, that's my motto. If you're going to screw up, screw up where everybody yeah. can see you. Th this is our version of the unbox videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Here it is. <laughs> what's, what's our first impression? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Ernesto, what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> we just don't cut the, the box on camera, but we do everything else. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, I got to get to where I can see what's going on here. And hopefully today I'm not going to mess up the background like I did last time. I figured out what the problem I know. is. Who's in, who's in the house? B, G, and E, once again into the breach. <laughs> 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 That's about right. Man Network says he made it on time for once. <laughs> He says, I always get notified in the last 20 minutes of the streams. Rarely get to interact from the start. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually glad that the notifications are going out now on time. That's good to, good to know. Did you remember to reset your clocks? Was that today? Yeah. I guess I, I just answered <laughs> that question. <laughs> no. <laughs> I did not. Got Ricky. Uh, Dr. David Vignola is in the house. Okay, hold on. Let me let me do this. I gotta use this. So I'm I'm doing some screen sharing here. I gotta turn the scaling off. Cause I gotta do these new features, man. They're too <laughs> cool. I'm just l watching over there and just observing. I'm amazed at at the amount of multitasking that's going on yeah, over there. This is Man Network says the guitars in the last video were insane. He said he had to replicate it himself this the morning after. We're actually going to go over that a little bit today. That that's part of what we want to do with all this uh, guitar pedal and just a uh, sonic s landscape kind of stuff. Yes. And so we're going to have a little bit of fun with that. We just shot the second, no, sorry, third, third. episode of Cue the Tape yesterday. So far out of everything we have done, it's my favorite. Yes. I mean, it was a blast. Brought in another drummer that was fun. I was actually playing organ. Uh, Minnow was joining us. Yes. Ernesto did a bunch of parts. There are a bunch of pedals on that, too, which we'll, we'll get to that a little bit. That's probably going to end of this month, most likely the first week of April when that one's going to come out. But, oh, my God, was that one yes. fun. Oh, yeah. It's a ton of fun. Yeah. And literally one, one complete take, right? Everybody playing. Okay, I did one punch. Yeah. I but, fixed I played one bad but note. But it's a performance from beginning to end. Yeah. No no punched in sections. So no black album. Yeah. <laughs> did we seriously just rag on the black album? Well, it's a fact. I think we're gonna get flagged by YouTube or something now. You can It's a speak fact, bad. you know. Yeah. I'm not saying it's bad or, 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 no, or terrible. It's, it's that was the way of comping the Yes. You know, yes. Now you swipe, back then you had to cut. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they use tape. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I can't imagine how many roles that they had back then. You know, probably just piled up. Oh, it was a whole truckload. There, yeah. there's a video of that. Literally, a a, a utility van, floor yeah. to ceiling, full of two inch yeah. rolls of tape. Yes, I I have the Bruce uh, Swedeen book right when he when he explained the when they were going through the mixes of either you know Thriller or whatever it was. So they you know first couple of listenings, yeah, mix mix two is pretty good, and then you know okay revision after revision. He said there were like tape reels just for Thriller from from the ground to the to the ceiling, <laughs> and they were at at mix maybe at mix ninety eight, right? And I think Quincy or Evil Michael goes, "Can we listen to mix two again?" And that was the one. <laughs> <laughs> the second mix was it. You did ninety six more revisions. That's great. <laughs> I don't feel so bad now. Of course, I haven't mixed a Thriller album yet, but you know. <laughs> but you know, it's sometimes that first impression, See, right? That next you time have. when you get yeah. mad at me for going, dude, you, we got to come print one more of these. Come over. You got to remember, it's only like print six. <laughs> when I'm on print ninety-seven, then you cannot answer the phone. <laughs> but yeah. so, David, if you're still here, I'm, I'm going to call you later because there's another little streaming thing I uh, figured out today, and I want to oh, yeah, see if, interesting. if uh, the same thing happened for you. So yeah. we will have another another chat soon. All these little interesting things that you find out about software interacting with hardware.
interesting is one word. Yes. <laughs> I usually don't use interesting as my descriptor. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to spoil <laughs> a, anybody's uh, opinions, you know, so. No, there's always something. Yeah. So, okay, so let's just get to the let's get to the main thing here because this is going to be uh, fun, I think. Yes. Well, it's going to be fun for him. I'm going to be over here sweating bullets. Yeah. But if you – for those of you that have watched the last – or the last two, the only two episodes of the Cue the Tape, you've noticed that we've been using a lot of guitar pedals, specifically the synth pedal, uh, as a way to... Sorry, I hear Delilah's. Every time I take a <laughs> break, I hear her <laughs> snoring in the background. <laughs> oh, here, let me bring it. Uh, yeah, grab that. We've been using guitar pedals to help create the lands landscape. And in case of the first episode... No, episode two... Episode one, drums created everything. But in episode two, that was how the whole song was written, was starting with Ernesto was messing with the synth pedal and initially came up with something with the guitar, then it went to the bass, and then the rest of the tune kind of fell in together. Yeah, well, I don't want to spoil the other camera yet, so no, we'll, we'll get it no, there. No, no, no. But, yeah, but yeah, so that, that pedal became I'll leave it here. a large portion of our creativity to, to yeah. start yes. the song and write something. And this came up a while back. This would have been last year now on a live stream where someone was asking pretty much that, that question of what happens when you hit a rut? How do you spark some creativity? Yeah. How do you come up with something new? Where do you go from that? And I think we all hit ruts at some point, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, not me. I'm kind of like Bach in that way. Oh, but Of course, yeah. So, why, why would you ever hit a, a lull, right? Yeah. So, why would you ever? And that's total BS. I have nowhere. <laughs> I can't even spell Bach. Uh, so... But it, it happens to all of us. So one thing that I like doing if I'm here by myself is come just plug something in that I normally wouldn't use in that way. And in this case of writing these songs, not only going to the tape as the medium and the experimentation and the limitation there, but what can we use to try to create something new and not just do the same stuff yeah. that we've done for years. Anything in that rock vein, that stuff comes out of us in our sleep. But that's not all there is out there. So we've started leaning more on the guitar pedals as a way to spark some sort of creativity, and especially these synth pedals because there's sequences in them and there's a lot of different things that you can you know, do to create some sort of initial moving soundscape. And then, oh, that sounds cool. Oh, yeah. I hear this drum thing I can do over it. Mm -hmm. Or, man, what if you layered this other guitar with yeah. this thing? So it's been a create. It's been how we've creatively started writing some of these tunes. Mm -hmm. So with that in mind, we we realize that <laughs> we have a lot of pedals here, obviously, but we need more and more. So luckily, recently, the folks at Zounds reached out to us, and I had a great conversation uh, with with them about a week ago. It was really cool because I've bought a ton of stuff from Zounds. They basically said, you know, how can we help? You know, what do you what do you need? You need gear for videos. You need gear for, you know, whatever you're doing. And I was like, it's funny that you guys asked because I was actually <laughs> just trying to find someone over there because I've bought so much stuff. The Adam speakers came from Zounds. My Heritage came from Zounds. My Comp 54s came from Zounds. Pretty much every guitar pedal that's new that I've bought in the last couple of years came from Zounds. Their payment plans rock, and they fit someone with my budget. <laughs> sure. Uh, so well, it works. works. But the cool thing was is when, when we talked, it was kind of like, hey, what can we do to help? You know, this is not a pressure thing. If you need gear, what is it you, you need to use? And I said, I got a list. We've got all this stuff we want to do. And they were great. So we got them to send us some new pedals to check out initially. They just showed up on Friday. So it's been, hadn't been 72 hours. Yeah. And yesterday we were in a session all day. So we haven't got to mess with them a lot. But we have a little bit. And actually one of them I used on my organ tone. Yes. That was, as soon as that thing came in, I pulled that right out of the box. I had my own unboxing video, only for me. Went right <laughs> to the organ, was playing my parts, and dialed in a tone that became the organ sound for this next episode. And I'm in love with this pedal, so... I don't think it's going anywhere. <laughs> no. But they sent us three different ones to to try out that we asked for because we knew we're, hey, this sound we kind of want to try to design something around, or this one has a bunch of stuff we want to see what we can create. And we, you want us to start with yeah, the blue to blue there? Yeah, sure. So the first one that was on Ernesto's list was the, the big boy to the Boss SY1, which is the SY200, right? And yes, I'm just, correct. Give me a second. I'm going to cut over to that. 
Oh, I got the wrong screen. Let me go to the second one. Multitasking. Yep. Uh, most impressive. As, so here's what as we're Darth dealing Vader with. Vader used to say. Let's go on air with the. Where's my cut? Boom. We in? Why is my picture in picture not showing up? Anyway, so Ernesto, I'm going to let you kind of go from here. Yeah. Start with, just do a quick overview yeah. of what we have, and then we're going to play some stuff. We have a couple tracks pulled up here, too, that we'll use, and I'm going to try yes. to get this picture in picture going. Yeah. Maybe you have to click on air or something. Okay, so we got the Space Echo RE 200. Is that 202? Yeah. I'm tired with, the, with these numbers, you know, model numbers, but... It's basically. Yeah. If any of you saw the yeah. last video, he talked about the boss pedal all the time and never yeah. once said what the model was. Yeah, so I'm, I'm tired with all these model numbers. So, but Space Echo. So apparently, this is a recreation of the old uh, Space Echo hardware unit, not I in pedal we form. Start with blue to blue. But um, well, I'm just going le left to right. Then we got this Electro Harmonics String Nine pedal. So you know you can kind of guess what it tries to imitate, and then the upgrade. Or the big boy version of the blue one, which was this guy. So there you got uh, big brother, and then the the little cousin. So and you know basically what do you do? You just plug in and then start turning knobs. You know so, and as you can see here, if I move this, you know you got presets. So it goes all the way from zero one to one hundred twenty eight. So I went through a lot of those, and it's hard to remember, you know, which ones were cool. But it goes through in categories, which is which is very helpful. Um, oh yeah, that's not what I wanted. X, exit, go away. Okay, so okay. Now keep in mind one thing. Like I said, we just got these on Friday, so this is some stuff we're going to be exploring a lot as as uh, the weeks and months come up here. But he's played around with this one a little bit. So just keep that in mind. Exactly. And then, okay, so yeah, it's all usually these things when you press a button and then something is not reacting. It's just like, what did I press? Menu. Okay, good. Can I like move the menu? Why am I not, why is it not moving? <laughs> turn it off and turn it back on. Yeah, let's do that. Now, the one thing that this has when you compare it to, to this, so on this guy, you basically have all your your presets in terms of categories, right? Like what type of effect it is. So you got, you know, pads, lead, uh, organ type, bells, and then it goes into the sequencing thing. So it's grouped in a similar way. So all these these patches go in that in that category, right? And then you got all these uh, categories over here, but this guy over here only has a couple of parameters um, to to change, and then this guy has way more. So you can go into each one of these, and for example, you, you know, you grab the tone here and you move it, and then it'll change the character of 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 the sound and the resonance. So yeah, you start turning knobs, and suddenly things change, um, and yeah, it's pretty pretty deep. So obviously, you know, you cannot cover this in in just five minutes. It's pretty deep. So we'll 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 demo some of these things, and then we got the electroharmonics, which is well, basically some sort of synth string type of variations. Actually, sounded really really nice. And for a guitar player, you know, when you want to get away from your typical sounds, suddenly playing something that sounds completely different you're like oh and you play different that's the whole point so you get inspired to do things in a different way so you know you say oh now i gotta pick all the notes instead of using legato and then it just everything sounds different and this has uh, two controller knobs to also change parameters you can do it in real time and create some funky effects and yeah, so it's pretty straightforward. So not a lot to uh, fiddle with, which sometimes can be positive because way too many 
if I had, you know, 3,000 presets, oh, look, I got 3,000, it would be great, but I don't have time to go through 3,000 3, presets. So sometimes less, less knobs is better for just being effective. Here, let, let's play some stuff. Mm -hmm. Let, let's just, we'll go through them as we, like, hear some things. And then the Sp Space Echo has yeah. way more knobs. We'll get to that. The Space Echo was what I used on the organ yesterday, and it was freaking awesome. Oh, my Lord. Okay, it so. It was great. So let me, let so me. what are we starting with? Kill all this so we, know, we don't hear anything. So this is, this is our tone, just clean out. This is what happens when you when you hit the tuning peg with your head. It goes out of tune. So basically, well, let's just So first off, the amp is a Marshall JCM 2000 into a JBL uh fin the JBL Fender yeah. 2x15 cab. Yeah, so, so with a Unidyne 3 on it. So That's the it. advantage of that cab is like the low end is like whoa. So for some of the, these synth pedals it's like <laughs> whoa, that low end is not normal for a guitar cap. So, um, so let's see. Let's just we'll go through a few things. We got some music we can do some stuff to as yeah, well. Yeah. So let me. This thing is cool. Let me go to some sounds. Like for example, the rhythmic stuff, which is the first thing that strikes you. And so we have w one of these. Let's see. Well, these kind of things. And this is similar to what we used on, on that tune. And, you know, that's just like, oh, my God, you know. The I, sequencing yeah. stuff is great because it's almost, yeah. a, you know, banned in a box and you just start building on yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. So suddenly, you know, I'm like. So you have your backbeat and then, then you start and you start creating music. All right. You have to be careful that, you know, you have to play in time. Well, that was here. <laughs> that's the sound. Uh, that was on episode two. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to mute the drums. Just a yeah. different feel. Yeah, it was 12-8. So, <laughs> so it even says on this preset it's eighth note, right? So, so it was very cool when we recorded this that I had to kind of like wait to see where the backbeat was so because man if the backbeat is flipped i'm gonna throw him off right yeah, and th gonna, this yeah. one seems to start when you start and stop it it starts over well no that was the set with the yeah. preset we were playing with a little yeah. bit ago yeah 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 but but even if i like if i start right away it's not necessarily like uh, uh the downbeat of the yeah. of the sequence yeah. see there suddenly the backbeat was was right in the middle so you gotta gotta wait for it okay and then once you got it, yeah. Unless you want to do some call you to stuff. And just yeah, play. there you go. Right? Some of the sawtooth sounds in there. Okay, some so of that stuff was cool. Yeah. And then let's see. Let's go. We could spend a month getting. Oh yeah, yeah. Stuff. This is just, just like. Oh yeah, here. It's a... uh, some of these things. So. So I, I'm not even going in and just changing the parameters. I'm just, you know, so some some of these. And then yeah. this is the fun one, right? Oh, when you go into the low end. So, so you get the, this really like, whoa. So sometimes you say, hey, let's just create a bass line with this and then not use a bass at all. You know, so why not? Okay, so let me see. Uh, well, some of these were just like crazy. Uh, especially the octave stuff is very cool. It gets very, very inspiring because you never really play with a lot of octave pedals 
as a guitar player, you know, because uh, you think it's just always that sound, you know. But then suddenly you think, oh, I'm a synth player now, and then you you write different, you know. You think, oh, what what's a line I can do, you know? And as a guitar player, you never really would would play like that, you know, because it's like you, know, you don't hear the reaction of the amp doing this kind of stuff, so. Yeah, and that's the whole part about the creative side yeah. of this, is it leads you somewhere different and you write something new. I mean, some of this is just crazy. I mean... I mean, it's just nuts, right? I, I'm not even messing with anything. I'm just going through some of these examples. Phasers. See that? Oh, hold on, hold on. Keep that one. Reverb. Oh yeah. Oh, we'll get to that in a second. There's a really, not to get ahead of this, yeah. but there's a really cool thing uh, with that pedal. It's got a send and return, and we were playing with it with the RE202 yeah. on the insert of that thing. And it's that we'll, we'll plug that in in a second. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Really cool. Yeah, what it's, you can just, do with it's that. just so cool. And then let's see. Let's go to some of the fun ones. I love that low end stuff. All right, so some of these low things are hey, just that's a sticks album. Yeah. Yeah, so it really, really inspires you to write different in a different way. And then even if you want to do chords, you find something a little, you know, less sawtooth. Oh, look at that cello, electric cello. Ooh, oh yeah, I mean, geez. See, that would be really cool as a drone underneath something. And then we go into the whole bell thing, right? So here you got that. Ooh. Yeah, so. So now you're getting closer to that setting that we actually had. Yeah, it's just, you know, it just adds all this, like, yeah, like, like organ stuff, you know, it's like. What? Start playing Bach and stuff, you know. So, layered organ. So, I mean, it doesn't sound real. It's like, no, it's not real. It's the whole point. It's like you, you, you create, you know, you do sound uh, sculpting. That's the whole point. So, hey, Man Network's got a question. Yeah. Uh, he's asked. Does the guitar input volume affect the trigger on the electro harmonics pedal? Uh, oh, we'll go to that one in yeah. a second. But because mm -hmm. your everything is, your nothing's oh. in the effects loop. No, 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 nothing, nothing. I'm just going th straight into the pedal uh, into the amp. That's all I'm doing. Man, network. No, we've literally had these things since Friday. I mean, this is brand new. We already did some stuff with the 202, but so this is we're getting to know this at the same time you are. So. There is an expression input on the back of that, though. I mean, listen, do that. listen to this low end. This is like, if we turn the, the speakers up here, there'll be like 20 hertz in here or oh, something. Yeah. It's like, oh, my Lord. But yeah. I'm... Ooh, whoa, go back. So that's apparently, that's a bowed bass. A lot of slow attack sounds. Yeah, uh-huh. So yeah, you, you get into the... Alright. So, yo. Oh, hold on. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna plug in the art the Rev6. So yeah, slow attack. Uh sometimes you have to uh you have to be careful with, with certain certain high frequencies that they don't pierce the the uh, you know the actual sound you have in your hair in your head and oh, I just killed it. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. My bad. So yeah. We didn't plan this part out very well. There we go. <laughs> so yeah. So it's you know it's experimentation. I'm killing people on the broadcast right here. Mute uh, channel ten. I got it. I got it. Sorry.
Okay. Oh, with the shimmer? Oh, my Lord. So now you got to go into the settings. So here. Oh, yeah, yeah, You yeah. can turn this, this send in, send return on in the settings. So then we go menu. And then what was that? Uh, this is not second nature. We're just going to know this, man, but this thing is cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On, on off function, right? That's what we want. On a function, uh, what do we want? Uh, no. Where's, where is that guy? Exit control function. Keep flipping through. Oh, send return. There yep. you go. Push that button. It's on direct. So dial. Put do this. On effect. So now we should. Now we should hear it. Oh yeah, there it is. Wow, nice. That's cool. So that's what you call commitment. <laughs> right? Let's say, well, there's your reverb. Now you have some space going. But it, once again, it's going to affect how you play now. Yeah. Because you're exactly. not going to do the same. Exactly. When it's dry, you're going to do a lot more work. So now you're going to let the space If I turn breathe. this off. So yeah, so I'm reacting now different to the effect because you yep. know it just washes everything out. So you have to. Uh, you that know, is one yeah. thing I kind of dig about that pedal is with that insert. Yeah. You know we could do a whole chain. We could yeah. do the the two yeah, 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 yeah. do a chorus into whatever, and you could really experiment with some cool sonic texture. So yeah. So let me go to. Let me see. Uh... <laughs> Oh, that gets, gets into the noise part. There's a whole section on noise. You could literally design sounds for a space movie. It's called Wait, go that's Galaga. Yeah, going down, that's called. Going down, so. That going up. <laughs> so, breath. Ooh. Oh, yeah, now we go into the, like, the cool uh, sequences. set up a drum set I go out and play so yeah I mean just, and then I can you know there, there's a, a tempo so it's like man right now it's at 120 so I can go into tempo and then and you know go into speed metal so kind of neat right so just I'm just messing with a couple that of right things right there is if the edge did yeah. like the EDM metal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, so you know those kind of things are fun. Um, and then and then you know you got the tone. So what happens if I change the tone? So I go here. Right, it changes the. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And then what happens if I do the depth? Let's see depth depth. So it just doesn't. A little thicker. Uh, yeah, just. Uh, I obviously, um, it's way more versatile than than the S S Y one uh, because it just has all these additional parameters to mess with. So. Um, it also has MIDI, yeah. which we haven't messed with mm -hmm. yet. We'll, we'll get there, but you do have MIDI in and out. Yeah. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty crazy what you can do. Um, I think the ports. You know, yeah. The who? Yeah, you know, all the sequence stuff. I mean, you write a song. That's it. You already have a groove, <laughs> and then you just, you know. Record this, find another preset, and then start noodling over it, and you have a tune. That's it. Well, we should do a song called Preset, and that's yeah. all we do is go find <laughs> presets to use. Yeah. But that, that there's a lot of cool stuff with this thing. You want to yeah. go to the you want to go to the S9? Yeah. Let's, let's move through them because we don't. We are the beginning of discovering all this stuff. So. So S9, I was actually pleasantly surprised. It was like, man, there's this, because it's 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 more specific. So um, it's like it's easier to find things, um, you know. And the other one you can get lost a little bit. 
So it's it was great. So here I didn't we got know what to expect. Yeah, from string nine, I think is what it's called. So here it is, just the first the first uh, setting. So it's some sort of synth, I'm guessing. So I don't even know like if some sort of orchestration, like yeah, or I think it's called a symphonic. You know, I mean, you know, I cannot see it. I guess I'm right in the in the shadow of the of the knob, but. Um, So, and then I can, you know, oh, sorry. So here, the, the control parameters, we can mess with the, you know, the color of of those uh, high frequencies, you know. Sometimes you can, it adds a second control and you, you can mess with that. So it all depends on the on the setting. So if you want something, you know, not too, too bright, just back that control off parameter some sort of high mids all right let's move to the next one some sort of low end which is pretty cool Ooh, hey i want to see what that sounds like under this yeah all right oh yeah Oh yeah, that's a <laughs> that's cool. And that is yeah, neat, and man. I'm I'm 50, 50, 50 right now, right? So we go 100. Let me see. There it is. Now it's 100, just the the effect. That's it. It's great. I mean, talk about sustain, man. This thing is just going. I stopped playing it. This thing is still going. Yeah. You can go have a bite to eat. Yeah. Come back and still. The sustain. Oh. Sus I cannot say it. But this one goes to 11. Okay, so next one. Some of these are just crazy, you know, the amount of layers that they have inside that sound. So it can add some wobble, right? And just, that's flat. I want to hear that through the space echo. <laughs> uh, okay, space echo. Left button. Let me kill this. Now, while he's playing, here's what happens when a drummer gets involved. <laughs> it's, it's like you're trying to, to uh, <laughs> ramp up an old engine. Yeah. <laughs> I like buttons. Okay, so yeah, kill that for now. Go back, go back on a few things. Just the S9, there was some neat textural things when we were playing with this thing last night. So that's like a cool synth tone, you know, like pad. Now it's right out of the 80s. That's it. That when you start doing more with them, the, the attack is so slow on them that the, the changes get lost a little bit. But but this track's pretty damn good. So if I go back to um to more, so you can hear the original tone in, in there. This track's pretty well. 
That track's pretty good. You can hear it pushing the amp, it's great. Ooh. Even the slide is That's cool. going into something. Now turn the space echo. <laughs> All right. So, um, oh, it's, they were asking about uh, picking sensitivity, right? I mean, I'm I'm like going from soft. But you're still on 100 percent, right? No, I'm 50. Oh, you're 50, 50. Soft. If, let me let me go to the next one. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, man. Give me some expensive chords. Remember that. We're doing something with that. So yeah. Okay, that's 12 o'clock. That's the only way I can remember. Okay. High noon. Ooh, it's saying the western. Music. Oh, wow. Wow, that goes through that different octave steps. See, I move the pot and it just changes like a range of octaves. That's cool. Like how, how uh, I guess how wide the sweep is. That's cool, holy crap. All right. All right, next one. Oh, this is the one that, it apparently it records your initial attack and it stays there. It's called the freeze. This setting is called freeze. Look, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not playing. Wait, look at that. I'm not playing. So this is like, this is like holding the button on a pedal. I'm not playing, it's still going. So how do I turn it off by just hitting something? And it still goes. That's cool. So how do I turn this off? Good question. There you go. Uh, but go it's still going in the click, background. Click the button. Well, yeah, that's turning it off. But I mean, how do I get rid of that that repeat? See, so uh, it records. Ah. So if I have the second control all uh, more than twelve o'clock, I cannot get rid of it. Okay. Okay, that's that's good to know. Okay, good. So okay, so yeah, so yeah, so you gotta know what the second control uh, parameter control does to to the preset. Okay, another freeze setting, right? Just records your initial hit. I mean, it's just nuts. So cool. So so now I'm mixing again the, the original tone. So this is just that tone. Whoops, the other way. And this is dry. So it sounded so cool because the, the space, space echo, echo was on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because by itself, you go, like, oh, it's just another pad, right? But, no.
Okay, so if we talk about this guy here, this is pretty deep, the space echo. There's so much on here. Um, uh, it's hard to... I actually think they've done a really good job at making this one... It's amazing. Sound like the real deal. It's amazing what what. Uh, so are we finally PNP? Yeah. Awesome. The uh, the screen sharing dropped. That's why I had to go back to the <laughs> machine. <laughs> Always something. But yeah, I mean this the, this thing is as deep. I mean, holy crap, Aroni. Um, I think I'll, I'll flip to the other session yeah. just so you can play through it. it. There is no way in the next you know right, right now like next 15, 20 minutes that we're gonna go through everything. Because there's hidden parameters that you can pull up. Yeah. It is a delay and a full-fledged reverb all in one pedal. Yeah. I mean, it, it's got the spring reverb on yes. it, but you can switch between room, hall, plate, and ambience. You know, you, you boot it up in another mode. There is a mode that you can boot it into where you can set uh, where it's mimicking or it's modeled after the actual space echo that has the preamp section in it. Yeah. You can do that sort of thing. You have your wow and flutter controls. You've got saturation control. Yeah. I mean, there is so much you could do yeah. with this pedal. And it's crazy. Even even tape H, you can put a setting for yep. old tape and a new tape. Yep. It's like, man. Okay. Yeah, the one thing I will say is, here, let me, yeah. I'm going to kill your guitar for a second yeah. and pull up the other session. One thing I will say about the SY200 and the... RE202 just from a it just showed up just getting to learn it and how everything works there is a lot going on and it's not neither one of those I think are a pedal that you can necessarily just jump out and 10 minutes later you've you've got everything going no. I know I think they both have to be explored so yeah someone and, mentioned mentioned you know let us know when you read the manual I'm like well that ruins all the fun I'm gonna <laughs> pull a manual out uh, let's see. Let's the power yeah. demo. So we're gonna go a more normal song here. So the part that I liked about the space echo, it has an included saturation knob, and I said, "Oh my God!" So suddenly I had an overdrive with the delay. So there was a lead tone available. Yeah, because I, I should say that we are not running any of this in the effects loop. No, we're going. Yeah, guitar pedals through the wall into the ISO boost, straight into the front of the amp. Yeah, yeah. So, so this is basically obviously what there's other ways to do it. This yeah. is the guitar. This is it. That's that's what it is. If it's in tune, I'll pull the there tuning. You. He's playing the tuning song. No, no, I'll pull I got it, it. I got it. It was just one string. So yeah, so that's it. That's 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 the tone I got. So it doesn't get any cleaner than that. So, but if I go here and. Ooh. So you also on the tape head, you've got there's four different tape heads. I know, and like, a combinations wow. of all of them. So you can you know run one at a time. You can run two at a time, three at a time. You can run one and two. You can run one and three. You can run two this. and four. <laughs> I know we should have. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, let me see. Okay, so I know. Let's just uh, let's just see here. Ooh, that's so you can cool. see the middle dial is a tape head. So right now he's got tape head one and four. And my favorite part, right? This knob over here, saturation. Oh. See, so it's a nice overdrive in there, you know? I so wanna, I want to do an old school fusion album now. It's great. Here, hold on. Yeah. this pedal yeah so i don't even know is there a limiter on this what this knob What's that? that's wow and flutter Ooh, let's see oh we had it all the way up oh 
Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> so yeah, so you, you want to drive anybody crazy, you know, start messing with those This knobs. is why you keep yeah. the drummer away from your guitar pedals. But I love it. I love it. It's like you have an, an, an included saturation. So even if you want to have like a very sweet tone, you know. And I mean, that's kind of the first thing you went for last. I was messing more with yeah. the delays. You went right to that and found something that was driving the amp and really loved yeah, what it sounded like. Yeah, and there's like, hey. It actually makes the amp sound better. I know. So even if I, if I change pickups now. Right. I mean, you know, I've got a lot of uh, feedback in there going, but I mean, it's great. Um, so you also have some controls for the delay. Uh, yep. So there's some, and that's just, now flip through, we'll leave those settings and go to a different tape headset. Oh, oh, that's right. Oh, wow, look at that. That was one you loved. Oh, da 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 da, that's cool. I mean, I switched it to the age tape just to see how it, well, a minute ago, how it would sound. And it, it definitely changes the uh, the perceived brightness for sure, which makes sense, hence the age. But I love how even when you're soloed, you can hear yeah. all the repeats, but the second that you pull the track up, yeah. they're there. Oh, but yeah, everything yeah, yeah. fades into the music so nicely. Okay, so now we're going to do... Uh-oh. Wait, hold on. Before you do that, <laughs> there's a whole, the reverb, I know. Oh, crazy. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about that. So I think you're, I, I think we're in the spring reverb setting because you have to restart it to go into the settings to change it oh. and everything. But you have the intensity. So kill the, the take the intensity of the lay down. Uh, where's that? Take this back. Jesus. Right that. here. And here, just play.
It's got a really nice tone to it. I mean, the delays sound good. That reverb sounds fantastic. Yeah. I think yesterday on the organ when I had it dialed in, I had it on the patch that was head two and three at the same time. And I actually took a photo because I liked it, but I had a slap back with a healthy dose of that reverb. Ooh. Wow. Let me go back and kill that uh, saturation. And now, let's see what the the whole point of having many pedals is like. Let's see what happens when we turn more than one on. Let's turn the saturation on. Crank? No. Crank it. Don't be scared. Look at that oh. low end, man. I want to write, go write something right now with that. That's cool. Wow. All and right. that's the best part about these. I mean, as a drummer, all these years, I never got to you know mess with the pedals and everything until I started messing with the mixing, which is why I have the radial XTCs. So I'm actually excited. I'm going to do some stuff with this 202. There's going to be some video coming up relatively soon here that is not going to be guitar-driven. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be some vocals, some keys, some piano, uh, just some other, uh, even some drum ideas that I've got with that sucker. But I want to run through some ways that I would use that from my production angle. And with yeah. all three of these, one thing we're going to work on, Ernesto's going to be out for a couple weeks, but when he gets back, we're actually going to try to, not try, we are going to take these pedals and create, find a sound in with them, whatever, combination, one at a time, amp, whatever it's going through, find a sound, and that's going to be the guide to whatever we write. And then we're going to see where that takes us exactly. creatively, and we're just going to let the sounds kind of dictate things. And that's, in my opinion, th that is the only way to get to know any new piece of gear yeah. pedal. You know, not the manual, not any of that other stuff. YouTube videos kind of help. I watched some Pete Thorne with the RE202. Holy crap, that was great. But just there's no better way than sit down, mess with some knobs, find something you dig, hit record, yeah. and go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. It's, otherwise, you, you you never know what the sound will, will trigger. You know? It's, uh, it's always fun to... So, yeah. And we're going to do more of this gear... I don't know if I. Oh, wow. This is kind of a gear demo, I guess. You know, we've only had them a couple days, so it's not more of a gear uh, get to know with everybody else. But as we get to know them, we're going to do more. And there's some other pedals, too, that we're going to definitely try out inside of all that. See, now he's Space Echo. Oh, see, I can hear something already. I bet you ruined it with that. Wait. <laughs> wow. Wow, amazing what the... Yeah, I mean, Jesus, you can't just... Uh, 
Yeah, you can create your 3,000 presets just by turning knobs. Um. Ooh. He says it uh, sounds like old Doctor Who. I, can't, I don't know which one, though. A couple of people asking the total cost. I don't remember off the top of my head. There are links in the description yeah. to each of these pedals. They are going to Zounds. There are affiliate links, so if you are interested in any of them, that would help us out using the affiliate links. But you can go check them out. Oh here, let's see let's see this. Uh find the, the one and the at the shimmer on it. Um uh, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I will say why he's finding that my only complaint just from you know initial use and playing with has actually nothing to do with the sound or the overall functionality and, and features. I absolutely can't stand those shiny knobs that's on the R two the two oh two and the two hundred. <laughs> There are also my IGS tube core has the same thing. They're impossible to see where the little tiny black arrow is when the light's moving around. Yeah, yeah, I mean yeah. it's hard to see it in this when we have a fixed shot. If you're on a stage, forget about it. That you know, yeah, they look fancy. They are annoying. That's my only complaint. Other than that, I love it all. Wow, you can really hear the, the flutter here on the Oh yeah, I turned that down. That's it. Reverb and delay make everything better. When I'm bored, I'm just going to sit here in the studio talking through the 202. Getting transported back to 1750. <laughs> Yet he says, now we are on to Flash Gordon. They had some great sound design in that, man. It's <laughs> cool. Big old pipe organ. That's great. Hard man, didn't hard track very well for that, but no, but it's uh, it's pretty pretty damn good. I mean, considering what it is, and then some some of the yeah. some of the like like the spacey things, they're very very cool. Yeah, I think one of the things that I want to do is some sort of landscape kind of uh, ambient piece, specifically with that two hundred. Yeah, and probably a healthy dose of the two hundred two as well. Yeah, so, yeah, so so all this stuff is just you know you can hybrid strings. Yeah, you can go into like cinematic music so, so much yeah. faster with this stuff. Yeah. It's just uh, oh, yeah, which is that's one of the I don't know if we'll do cue the tape because it might be a little limiting to eight tracks there, but. One of the things we're going to do is going to be kind of that idea. Oh, totally, totally. So, yeah. So, any any cool questions? I mean, there's a lot of a uh, lot of uh, conversations going on in there. <laughs> so, one of the few times I, I don't have the screen in front of me, so I'm just seeing all that text from people conversing over there. Yeah, I lost the the uh, screen sharing dropped on me. Oh, <laughs> so I got to go back to the other computer constantly. No, oh, something technical. Oh yeah. But yeah, this I mean this has been this is what I sit and do constantly when I get something new. Like everything goes through it. But a lot of it's just getting creative and writing with it, you know. 
and trying to come up with something cool, which I'm sure we will come up oh. with more. Strings for chords? Uh -oh. What's that? No. See, and now here's the problem. You know, I, I'm getting hungry and about ready to go eat, and he's going to find 18 more sounds that he wants to go through. <laughs> no, I'm just... Ooh. Just stuff, you know, that... that See, it's just, man, the space echo does it. See? Yeah. It does it. It's magic. This by itself, you're like, it just sounds so like. It doesn't sound near yeah. as cool. But man, the, the space echo warms it up. Life sounds better through the space echo. Right? Because it just adds that, that little warmth in it, right? Some space. So you get the attack from the. the name. <laughs> and I'm not even hang, having it cranked. Let me change the tone a little okay, bit. Hold on, I'm gonna flip back to the other screen. So now, see, go to the tone. Oh. Oh, why is that? That's it. That's it. Anybody know that? Uh. <laughs> but turn the space echo off again. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's cool. Yeah, it's, it's a cool but, tone, but, but it's not as cool without yeah, space echo. Yeah, I think with this, you believe it's, oh, man, that's a cool keyboard sound. You know, what keyboard are you using? Uh, none. It's a Les Paul keyboard. They only made a few. So let's see what I got. Depth. Let's see. Resonance. That's cool. Yeah, so sometimes you have to be careful with that, that those high mids, right? That really start poking out. But I think is what's cool here, though, is you take a preset that starts yeah. cool and then you tweak it to make it your own. You come. Yeah. And there's enough settings on it that you can really dial in something cool and unique. Oh yeah, I mean, geez, yeah, it's, uh, that can be here for another okay. half I'm hour. Okay, I'm pulling the I'm pulling the plug. Yep, I can be here for another half hour. You know, let's just go back to early. <laughs> when you play that, all I see is Jack Black and <laughs> and Cage playing that down on the boardwalk. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, that this is uh, I love this stuff. Again, it comes. See, he's got the space echo one. He's going to keep going. I'm going to have to take these toys away. <laughs> no, yeah, it's there's something about a, a cool delay that makes a certain tones uh, you know, more more appealing. Yeah, no doubt about it. So who's got, I'm curious, any of y'all out there, yeah, I just said y'all, have something cool pedal that you've been using. What's one that you've used in a way like this where you're just pulling it up, find a sound, and write something? I want to know. I want to know. We will do a lot of writing with these. We're going to write some songs around. We're going to use them as the creative tool. It, it's that whole limitation thing, right? Which is one of the whole points yeah. of the Cue the Tape series. Besides the fact that I just love recording the tape, even if it's the, the R8 thing is bitching. Just the limitation of how can you be creative inside the very yeah. tight boundaries. And I mm -hmm. think it just leads you into places that you would not go to yeah. if there's mm -hmm. no limitation. Yeah. So... 
part of the discovery that I want to do with these pedals and some other ones that we're going to look at too is what can we take and make out of that one thing yeah. or one combination. Okay, yes. everything has got to come from this. What can we do? Pick up yeah. an instrument, change it, yeah. whatever. Be creative. Yeah, I think somebody answered. What? Oh, how? Dr. How in the house. Oh, yeah. All the way from Taipei, just right around the corner. He says the Pog. Pog Nano. That's actually cool. That's on my list, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Ricky Harris making fun of my southern accent. <laughs> I am from Kansas, which is not really southern, but it kind of <laughs> acts like it sometimes. <laughs> the tone that Jeff Beck got with Ozzy was cool. What tone was that? What? Jeff Beck? Zona says the tone that Jeff Beck got with Ozzy was killer. What? Did he do something with Ozzy? I don't know. Did I miss this? I probably missed it, but I, I've never heard a, a track with Jeff Beck and Ozzy. It's just such a weird combination. I want to hear it, though, if that's true. And also, if it's true, I feel yeah. that I have severely should be chastised <laughs> for not knowing this. <laughs> But hey, thanks for joining us, everybody. We're we're yes. gonna get rolling. One thing too, we just launched. We're doing the membership thing. We're gonna do some behind the scenes footage that's gonna come through that. Gonna make sure I get to everybody's questions. We're gonna add some stuff as we go. But any of that stuff, you know, I know everybody's tight right now, and we appreciate everyone that comes on these live streams. Whether you can, you know, do the membership thing. The super thanks or any of that sort of thing we love all you guys it's a it's a fantastic hang we're having fun but anything that you can do that helps us keep making more of these because i'm trying to up the game of what we're going to be putting out especially coming into summer would be greatly appreciated if not just keep coming back and hanging with us you know yes. it's cool yeah so there'll be more he's going to be out you're going to yeah. probably see one of these with me by myself fine solo doing something working on a couple guests literally I, i've got three guests lined up just trying to nail down times that's what it's coming down to yeah. right now schedules yeah uh-huh and i got three really bitching i think really bitching oh yeah guests, so. well, yeah of course i mean i yeah. think that it must be true <laughs> yeah if 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 they can make it that would be awesome that would be awesome you know it's yeah yep and they'll be they'll be cool. I mean, that's one thing I want to do more of is have some other people. Wait, uh, oh, it's on patient number nine. It's on the latest record. Ah. Okay. You know what? I haven't, I have not listened to that. So no. now I now I have a reason to. Well, <laughs> had a reason to before. Yeah. But now I have more of a reason to. I oh, want to hear wow. Jeff Beck and Ozzy. I think that's just. Yeah, that's that's an a, unlikely combo yep. that might create. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you know Jeff Beck is does not play uh, a heavy guitar sound at all so you could argue that ozzy doesn't anymore either <laughs> <laughs> but yeah yeah but every guitar player he played with had had a you know pretty pretty heavy tone so how says he'll be the fourth guest now how's gonna be in the house soon oh yeah how's coming for now hey speaking of nam boy talk about having one thought and getting derailed by yeah. him in the middle of it how's gonna be here for nam i'm gonna get his ass in the studio and we're gonna do some drum stuff he doesn't know it yet. Well, he knows it now. Uh, and we're going to have some fun there. But any of you going to be at NAM? Anybody? It's in April. It's coming up. It's going to be probably very small. <laughs> probably even smaller than last year. Yeah. I'm going to be there for, I don't know when you're going, but I'm going to be there probably on the Saturday, which is actually the final yeah. day. The 13th, 14th, yeah, 15th most likely. or something like that. So if anybody's going to be around in SoCal, let me know. Let's hook up, grab some coffee, and go look at the six companies that show up to NAM this year. <laughs> There's more than that, but it's going to be on the small side, which could be a lot of fun, actually. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's less people to run into yep. as you're walking yeah. through the aisles, for sure. Or, or maybe because there's l less booths, you just see more people, right? So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, hey, last year. Zone recordings, and maybe. So yeah, if anybody is, let let us know, because I want to hook. I want to hook up and say hello. It'd be nice to put some names to your YouTube monikers. Yes. Oh, no, wait. I said that wrong. Some faces, too. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm getting hungry. That's why I can't think. And that's, that's what I'm going to blame it on is hunger. It has nothing to do with me. <laughs> but thanks for joining us, everybody. Yes, thank uh, you. We will see you soon. I'm going to try to get a little bit of a schedule coming up. We do have a Roswell Pro Audio virtual showroom coming up on the 23rd. Have some more info on that soon. And I'm going into about... 12 days of crazy sessions here starting on Wednesday. Oh, yeah. 
So I'm, gonna, I'm trying to finish some video up Monday and Tuesday so I can get some stuff out before that happens. But we're going to get some through those sessions, too. And then I'll be back towards the end of the month with the live stream. And that next episode of Cue the Tape is going to – you guys are going to love it. You're going to love it. Yeah. I'm going to leave you with this oh, nugget yeah. about that just so you, you can simmer on this. Yeah. It's Imagine if the cast of the Munsters got together with Dick Dale, dropped some acid – and then watched a spy movie, specifically something with early Sean Connery. And that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> and maybe at the end of it, they uh, put on some vinyl of uh, early B-52s. <laughs> well, that's, I'm leaving it at that. I'm not going to say another word. Yeah, that's all that, I'm saying. That's a, that's a nice nice little uh, yep. uh, salad mix. That's yep. good. Yep. And that's all we have. So thank you all for joining us. Thank you so much. It's been much. fantastic as always. And we will see you soon. Really soon, hopefully. Yes. And yeah, we're out. That's it. <laughs>